In Terraria, after you beat the Wall of Flesh, your world will be put into hard mode, which will completely change how the game works, mainly by making everything much harder to do, with you in return unlocking a lot more features. But there are some things that you should do before getting into it, to make sure you don't make things harder on yourself later, which is exactly what I'll be going over in this video. The first few things I recommend doing before hard mode all have to do with the NPCs in the game. To start, you should try to get every single NPC possible before hard mode, as it will only get harder to get them after. Most of the pre-hard mode NPCs will just spawn in an open house, but for the mechanic, stylist, golfer, and sometimes the tavern keep, they will only move in after you find and talk to them underground. And most of the biomes, like the desert, become a lot harder after getting into hard mode. So, odds are, enemies will kill your NPCs before you even get to them. Now, another thing you'll want to do is put the nurse and arms dealer together in houses, which will allow you to get that biome's pylon. Personally, I like to keep them in the jungle before hard mode, since that will decrease the enemy spawn rates there. Now, while pylons are super easy to use, they won't get you everywhere you need, which is where a teleporter hub comes in. This is something I usually make in the middle of the world, with one in the sky and another underground, which makes connecting all of the wires a little bit easier to do. You want to do this before hard mode, since the enemies you'll have to deal with while connecting the wires will be a lot stronger in hard mode. And being able to instantly teleport to things like the jungle temple or the eighth their biome will save a ton of time in hard mode once you need those areas. All supplies to build and connect the teleporters can be bought from the mechanic, which is another reason to go find her before hard mode. If teleporters seem like too much work for you to do, then I recommend just making a long bridge going across your entire world. This will allow you to travel from point A to point B in a safe way, and can also help you find your floating islands. For this, you can obviously just build a one block long platform for the whole thing, but I like to build mine with a roof, walls, and lighting, just to cut down on a few enemy spawns that can happen way up there. One of the most helpful things you can make before hard mode is a fishing farm, since it will give you access to a ton of great loot without you having to do much work. Making a fishing farm pre-hard mode is an easy way to get some good loot, without having to do anything other than click two buttons in a safe area. To do this, all you need to do is make a hole that's 15 blocks deep, 20 blocks wide, and finally fill it up with water. Another great farm you should make before hard mode is an invasion farm. All you need to do to make one of these is make the small setup I have on screen now, alongside a campfire to make you regenerate health faster. This will help a ton in the random invasion style events in and before hard mode, like the Blood Moon and Solar Eclipse, so I recommend making this build as one of the first things in your world. Something else you should do in that same vein is make one underground as well, which will allow you to farm a ton of good loot that you'll need before and in hard mode. Now, besides making builds that defend yourself, something else that can help a lot more is potions, which you'll need herbs for. And since you're already gonna need platforms in your world anyway, use plants planter boxes from the Dryad, since they will grow those herbs you need. Another super helpful seed-related farm you can build is a jungle farm, which is just a cleared out area underground, with rows of mud that have jungle seeds. Besides giving you another way to get herbs, it will also give you a super easy way to get life fruits and plantera bulbs as soon as you get into hard mode, which would cost you hours of time without. And for the final pre-hard mode farm I think you should make, we have a jellyfish statue farm. This is a super easy way to get an unlimited source of light through glow sticks. And you can get the wire stuff from the mechanic, and jellyfish statues can be found easily underground. Now, while strong gear can definitely help out against bosses, something that will help out even more is a boss arena. Building one of these as soon as possible will make almost every boss fight in Terraria much easier. And while you probably already know the simple idea of just making rows of platforms, I'm actually going to give you some more ideas for it. Firstly, like I mentioned already, instead of platforms, you should use planter boxes from the Dryad, since they will give you herbs and work just like platforms do. Something else you should do is add a campfire and heart lantern to increase your health regeneration. A vast statue hooked up to a switch, so you can get a boost to your defense when it's powered on. And finally, heart statues hooked up to timers, so that way you can get extra HP during the fight. You can also add the Dryad for even more defense, and of course the nurse as well, so you can quickly heal yourself. Moving on to things related to your evil biomes now. One thing that can really help in pre-hard mode is making four block wide holes going down to the underworld, but make those holes on each end of your evil biome. You'll already need to make a way down to the underworld regardless, and making two encasing your evil biome will stop it from spreading any further, allowing you to deal with it whenever you want. Speaking of biomes, something you will for sure want to do before getting into hard mode is to find your aether biome. 
as it allows you to decraft items and get a ton of player upgrades. To find your Aether biome, all you need to do is first find which side of your world has your jungle biome. Then go to the beach on that side of the world and dig under until you eventually find it. And for the final thing I think you should do before hard mode is to go ahead and make your surface mushroom biome. So that way, Truffle can move in as soon as you get into hard mode. To make a surface mushroom biome, all you need to do is place 100 mushroom seeds on mud in a single area, which can be easily done in the jungle. Or you can make it on your dungeon so you can place a pylon there. That wraps up our look into 15 things you should do before hard mode. If you made it this far into the video, let me know by commenting Evil Biome, and also let me know what your favorite things to do before hard mode are. Thanks for sticking to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Terraria videos like this in the future. And as always, make sure to have a wonderful day.